So, the Lakers versus the Warriors. It's the first round playoffs, and so far with the Lakers losing the first two games, it, it doesn't look good. Although, J.R. Smith has played very well for the Lakers, he's been a spark off the bench. Draymond Green, game one, he hit some clutch threes to seal the game for the Warriors. And yeah, in, uh, in game two, it was the Steph Curry show. It was the Steph Curry show for game two. So now, we head back to LA for games three and four. We start off in game three, the Lakers down by five, three minutes left in the fourth quarter. This is where clutch time is about to happen. We give JR Smith the ball, there's 12 seconds on the shot clock, back to JR Smith, who spins around, gives it to Randall, and that's the basket for Julius Randall to make it a three point game. The Lakers need this win. If they go down 3-0, well, let's just say there's no hope. There's no hope of winning a series against the Warriors down 3-0. It's just not going to happen. So, with D'Angelo Russell hitting that lap to go, and J.R. Smith taking a tough shot and falling, the Lakers suddenly have the lead. And of course, J.R. Smith couldn't take an easy layup. He had to make it harder for himself. I mean, that's just a typical J.R. Smith shot. And with the shot clock winding down, and Kid Gilchrist running the break, you know that the Warriors aren't going to be stopped on this possession. But, it's still a one point lead to the Lakers after DeMarcus Cousins hit some free throws. So Boogie back in the post with 26 seconds left, and Amari Stoudemire has no hope. He gives up a foul, and Boogie's at the line for two. He hits the first one, excellent release, and the second one is a big free throw. With 23 seconds left, it's off. The Warriors call the timeout, and have a chance to either take this lead or tie up this game. You know what time it is. They give it to Steph Curry. We bring Matthew Dellavedova, the defensive beast, to lock down Steph Curry, and Klay Thompson somehow misses the easiest layup he could have had in NBA history. And with J.R. Smith going to the foul line, he needs to hit one of these free throws at least, just to make it a three-point game. He misses the first free throw but he makes the second free throw. And with the Warriors having no timeouts, it doesn't even matter. I mean, they got Klay Thompson, they got Steph Curry, they got Draymond Green. They don't need many other shooters on their team. They have to take a pick out of the three. They take Draymond Green, a fadeaway three who was clutch in game one, couldn't produce in game three. And the Los Angeles Lakers eliminate a 3-0 lead to the Warriors. In fact, winning game number three so it's a 2-1 series, Warriors are up 2, Lakers are 1, and this series is not over quite yet. And you know, J.R. Smith is quite clutch towards the end of this game. He had 19 minutes and dropped 22 points, 8 for 13 shooting and 5 for 7 from downtown. Of course, Boogie just had a boogie game, 8 for 9 shooting, 25 and 11. DeAndre Russell getting that double-double, Jabari Parker. Hassan Whiteside has fully recovered from his injury, which helped this series out a ton for the Los Angeles Lakers. But unfortunately, though, Jabari Parker suffered an injury. And you know what? It's the NBA playoffs. We're going to have to make him play through the injury. So now, I bring you to this game. Game number four. Ten minutes left. Lakers are up two at home. With a J.R. Smith just taking a J.R. Smith jumper. Hand in the face, yeah. That would never go in. And with Klay Thompson getting hacked on this one, he ties it up. With 940s left in this game, it's time to move and time to play. Randall, all day, every day, gets that lab to go. And he makes it a three-point lead after hitting this free throw right here. Nine minutes 30 left. Steph Curry puts on the moves on D'Angelo Russell and gets it to fall. Steph Curry does an MVP-like move, and D'Angelo Russell, a rookie that he is, had no idea what was going on. So Steph Curry ties up this game at 78-78, to and the game didn't change much after that shot. For the last five minutes, it was back and forth between the two teams. J.R. Smith throws down the hammer, and on the next possession down, he steps back, hand down, man down, and knocks it down. Five-point lead to the Los Angeles Lakers now. They're feeling confident. The confident dies down with Steph Curry nailing that three. But the Lakers have a four point lead now. A great rebound by Hassan Whiteside kicks it out. No one's guarding D'Angelo Russell. He gets that to fall. The Lakers 
fans are going crazy in LA. Steph Curry though, silences the crowd once again. It's a four point game. JR Smith for three. Ah, he misses. Iggy with a chance. He misses as well. These are, this is the time where the two teams could not hit a shot. Harrison Barnes misses right now. Finally, Hassan Whiteside says no. It's my time to shine. He dunks all over Harrison Barnes right there. And get that out of here. Hassan Whiteside was playing defense on the other side of the court as well. So the Lakers are looking good right now. All they need is a dagger. One make... And that is the end of this ball game. Hassan Whiteside on the rebound. Kicks it up to Kelly Oubre. Hand down. Man down. And the Lakers are taking game number four. So what does it mean for the Lakers taking game number four? It means that the series is tied 2-2. Going back to Golden State. It's a brand new ball game. With the series tied... It means that both teams can play their style now. They both know that they can win these games. It's just a matter of which team feels more confident and which team can beat the other team outside of their home court. Because that, that's really all it is. It's going back to Golden State, and whoever wins out of that means they have a pretty big advantage for the next game. So let's see what happens. Let's see which team can come out on top taking game number five and here it is with the Warriors up by 1.20 seconds left in this ball game the Lakers have possession they're running a play for Boogie Cousins a play for Demarcus Cousins right here they feed him low post he's gonna go back down to Murray Stoudemire puts it up gets that to fall Demarcus Cousins is flexing and the Lakers have the lead with five seconds left Steph Curry with a chance to win the game crossover jump shot it's off the Lakers win game number five we are going back to LA for game number six and if the Warriors tie up this series in game six it's back to Warriors arena for game number seven I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, let me know what you guys thought about this series, and if you guys can't wait for the next two episodes, or just the next episode, let me know in the comment section down below, and this is why the Warriors couldn't win. Matthew Delavadova.